I'd like to present her with a book. It's uh, wrapped by me, so y'all can tell. <laughs> but uh, I'd like her to open it and read the title and the author real quick. It's signed by the author, and the title, uh, I'll say it's Ms. Goldberg. Go ahead. But working with uh, Commissioner Eversoll and, and County Judge Emmett, but it's just been outstanding. This project is going to be fast-tracked. We're going to actually break, excuse me, we're going to have a breaking, uh, groundbreaking, and Benito there, correct me if I'm wrong, we're going to break ground this December. And we're going to have a ribbon cutting next December. Wow. And from where I sit, that's a pretty unprecedented uh, schedule for construction on a municipal project. But we're all behind it. The mayor's behind it. City council's behind it. And our county government's behind it. So I'm excited about it. I'll let you share this with everybody. The name of the book is Under God, George Washington and the Question of Church and State by Tara Ross and Joseph C. Smith, Jr. Thank you so much. You bet. You bet. I want to say that I've known Rhoda for years. We won't talk about how many, but we both used to work with Houston Public Library years ago. And uh, uh, she is now my boss. She has been the interim director of the Harris County Library System for the last two years, and she has been spectacular. And uh, she is a definite uh, go-to and go-at-it uh, director, and has been wonderful, and thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you for saying so many nice things to me. I wish my mother was here. <laughs> um, I am Rhoda Bowling. I'm the interim director. And people have said thank you to me, but I have to say thank you to them. Uh, first, to Judge Emmett, Commissioner Eversol. Judge Emmett is a library supporter. He's a reader. Um, it is good to have him That's on board. Commissioner Eversall, uh, from the very beginning, has been a supporter of libraries. And it shows in the libraries in Precinct 4. I told him that he was the first person to come and say, you need to build a bigger library. At the, at, and that became the Barbara Bush branch that went from uh, 11,000 square feet to 30,000 square feet. And now we're, we're building the Keenwood Library, which will be a 30,000 square feet facility. Thank you both. Um, Thank it you. makes my job easy. Also, um, Councilman Sullivan has been a pleasure to work with. Uh, we kind of have a mutual admiration society. And it has been a pleasure developing this project with the city, working through the, com the councilman in his office. And I thank you so much. Our project will be the better and the richer for that partnership that we have. 25 years ago, uh, right after Alicia, uh, right after Hurricane Alicia, we opened this library. It's kind of telling to me that that morning, we, we opened on a Sunday afternoon, there was no electricity in this building. And of course, it was August, and we know August and no electricity, what that means. And just in time, the electricity and the air conditioning came on. I think that was an omen, because this library, even though it often loses its electricity, has never lost its shine or its light. It has, a, it has grown as, a, as the uh, Kingwood community has grown. It's grown because Commissioner's Court has been supportive of libraries. It's grown because we have a friends group that just has no equal. They have, they have always been here supporting the library, showing us off. And I thank, I just can't say thank you enough to the friends. And the volunteers, there are people who volunteered when this library opened in 1983, and they're still here volunteering. It's, a, it's, it's heartwarming to come to the volunteer luncheon every year and see so many people that I've gotten to know over the years. And of course, I can't say enough about the remarkable Kingwood staff, Christy and her entire staff, I you know, everyone's been talking about how Kingwood's grown and uh, the uh, demand for library service has grown uh, just as quickly. And so the building that was our biggest building in 1983 is now too small for us and we're going to move. And when you get ready to plan, uh, well, the first thing you need is money. <laughs> and you need the will of the uh, governing body and the people around. And then you need to pick a good architect. And we chose the best, Kirksey Architect. 
um, I can't say enough of the architects from Percy who have designed a wonderful building. They listened to us, they took our ideas. Sometimes when the ideas weren't maybe that good, they gave us some alternatives to look at. But they have been true partners in the design process with us.